officer was recognized for his actions that undoubtedly saved a man's life. This summer, Officer Justin Ruby was one of the first to arrive on scene where a 24-year-old Army veteran was threatening to take his own life. Officer Ruby sat down with KETV News Watch 7's Cal Larson to express his relief that that day ended safely. He's got a gun under his chin saying he can't do it anymore. A tense, emotional situation. I need you to unload the gun. I need you to get the gun out of play. He says, I, I don't want to hurt anybody else, just myself. The standoff ended with no injuries, just tears. I say, man, you want a hug? And he looked at me and I said, I'm serious, I'm a hugger. I said, you want a hug? And he just starts crying and he buried his head in my chest and I could feel that release. On July 12th, Omaha police officer Justin Ruby was on patrol like any other day. At 4.35 a.m., a call changed the course of his shift. A 24-year-old man, an Army vet, threatening to kill himself. This male called in, said his roommate was sitting in the hallway holding a gun under his chin. He had been crying. He's yelling his roommate's name. Ruby was on the phone with the man for almost 45 minutes. Eventually, the officer went to the apartment for a face-to-face -face conversation. I knew in that moment he intended on taking his life that day. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that he was going to. I said, hey, you know, I'm glad you're alive, and I shook his hand. The man was suffering from PTSD, something Gail Williams with At Ease says is far too common. For them not to feel supported or not knowing where to turn, it is heartbreaking. At Ease is an organization that offers trauma treatment and therapeutic support to military members, veterans, and their families. Williams says while services are out there, they can be underutilized. A lot of it comes from you should just power through it and know what to do and be able to handle things. And unfortunately, you need support um, a lot of times to be able to get through some of these difficult situations. Ruby thinks the same. Cops, military, we're all type A. None of us want to ask for help. We're too proud to ask for help. We can handle our stuff on our own. The fact is we can't. We can't. Ruby credits his crisis intervention training for helping him that day, but says at the end of the day, he was simply reaching into his heart. I'm no hero. I'm no hero. I did my job. Um, I was a human that day. You know what I mean? The cop with 10 and a half years under his belt hasn't seen the man since, but that's okay. He's just happy a situation that began with death as an option ended the way it did. When I knew in that moment that God had put us together on that day, and this was the reason why. I'm just glad he's alive. Cal Larson, KTV, Newswatch 7.